Hi guys, I know a lot of you have been asking me what's in my bag for CS 2016. So let me go ahead and show you. Let's go do this, baby. All right, guys, so here is my bag. This is an in-case DSLR bag, and I'm actually not carrying my DSLR with me, uh, but this is all the gear, and let me go ahead and take out some of this and build a rig for you. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and build my rig. Um, so let me go ahead and build it real quick. This is my gimbal stabilizer. This is my Verizon 4G LTE USB modem, and this is called the Teradek Video Pro. Uh, that allows me to live stream, and I can go ahead and plug the USB modem in uh, right here. All right, I've got two 15 millimeter carbon fiber rods, which weigh almost nothing, and some rod holders. And I got these two pistol grips that are really awesome uh, for making your rig. Now the other stuff I'll show you later, I have a, a camera slider and tripod. And inside the front pocket, I got my trusty uh, Sennheiser wireless microphone, which I'll be using primarily. And of course, on the front pocket, I have the Sony RX M4. Now, in the previous four years that I went to CS, I was using the Canon DSLR. It's just simply too heavy with a big lens. And this camera is almost just as good as most DSLRs. Now, the only limit is that if you're doing 4K, it can only record up to five minutes. But I'll be using actually 720p for the live stream, uh, just because bandwidth is hard to get at CS. And I'll have a wrap up video using 1080p. Also, it can do excellent slow motion. All right, so let me go ahead and build this rig for you guys real quick. All right, so I first have the Nebula 4000. Uh, this is the gimbal. And the first thing I do is put these rods, all right? And I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it. All right, that will allow it to sit uh, flat on the ground. Next, I've got this quick release that will actually hook up to a magic arm to my belt. So if I get tired, I have an option to hold the whole gimbal uh, with my belt. So I put that there. All right, next up, I have the Video Pro, the live streaming unit. Let me go ahead and just slide this on here. All right, on the other side, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put peripherals. I'm gonna actually put some extra batteries. I'm still waiting on the batteries, so that's why I don't have it with me right now. Uh, but basically, I'm gonna hook that up so I can power both of these gimbal and the live stream so I can do it for six hours straight if I want to. All right, for the wireless microphone, I'm gonna simply screw it on here and that goes screwed on there. Now this plugs into the Video Pro. All the audio, you'll get it from my lavalier microphone, which is really nice. This microphone is omnidirectional. Um, also, it'll pick up most of my voice and also will be able to pick up a lot of the sounds from the show. And I've got my Verizon uh, USB modem, which plugs in like that. Now this Video Pro can also bond uh, your USB modem, Wi-Fi connection, and up to four iPhones. And the iPhone method didn't really work well in my testing. So I'm gonna scrap all the iPhones and use a USB modem and one of my phones as a hotspot. And that way the Video Pro will be able to utilize the upload speeds of both my 4G LTE modem and my Wi-Fi hotspot on my phone. And hopefully I'll be able to get full 720p HD videos streaming um, crisp and clear. All right, finally, but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and place uh, my camera on there. Let me go ahead and turn it on for you guys. Give you a sample. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the gimbal on. And also to monitor my actual live stream, I'm gonna have a, this phone mount that I built. And now I can go ahead and plug in uh, any of my phones and boom shakalaka. All right, I forgot one more thing, which is a, a big part of this rig are these HDMI cables for gimbal. Uh, because if you use a regular HDMI cable, the weight of it will mess up the gimbal. So what I've got here, ribbon type HDMI cable, normally used on drones. You can pick this one up on Amazon for like 20 bucks. And this is gonna stream to my live streaming unit. So that's pretty much complete. This weighs about maybe five, six pounds. It does get sort of heavy. I'm gonna have more battery packs on the left side. Um, so what I did, and to stabilize the shot more, I've got these handles uh, mounted on the right and also on the left. And I like these that I can screw them on. All right, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna be able to give you these super stabilized shots uh, at the show live in very crisp quality. Now, I really like the Sony RX M4 because you can also flip out the screen and do selfies if you want. So this is currently my setup. The reason why I'm live streaming is every time I go to CES, there's so many things to cover. I literally get as much as I can, and maybe out of 100 things, I only upload maybe 20 of them. It's just a lot of work, um, and I wish I could just show you everything. So with this way, 
you'll be able to see everything that I see at CES 2016. All right, next, let me go ahead and show you what's in my bag. Uh, the rest of what's in my bag. Uh, I've got a tripod. Uh, this is a C. Rui tripod. This is the world's lightest tripod uh, with a tripod head. I've got Edochrome action module, which allows me to slide super slow. And of course, I've got the camera slider here. First off, let me talk about this tripod. This weighs two pounds. This is the world's lightest tripod. I have a video on it, so check that out if you're interested. Okay, next up uh, is the Edelkrone slider. I really, really love this thing. And let me give you a demo real quick. So during the show, if I wanna do some sliders, video sliders, I can go ahead and do this. All right, so I'll be able to get those nice macro sliding shots. I really, really love this thing. This is one of the best investments I made. If you want to get a slider that automates everything, this is the best thing to get. All right, another cool feature, I can also do time-lapse, uh, sliding time-lapse with this. And I'll try to do a bunch of time-lapse videos in Las Vegas, of course. So I'll take a shot, and later on, I'll be able to make a 4K time-lapse out of it. All right, for my computer, I'm bringing my MSI GS64 k laptop. Uh, I love this thing. I can edit 4K video super fast. Probably world's lightest laptop you can buy that you can edit 4K videos on. I believe this is like 3.5 pounds or something. All right, lastly but not least, I've got four phones I'm bringing. The first one is Nexus 6P with AT&T. I've also got a Sprint Galaxy Note 4, so I'll have Sprint. And I've got a Verizon Note 3. And I've got my trusty T-Mobile Note 5. CES has one of the most horrible cellular coverage uh, in the whole world because there's so many people there. Uh, everybody has a phone. So I always bring AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, and Verizon. That way I'll have the most chances of getting good signal. Anyway, I'll be doing a bunch of live shows. I know some of you are not getting my notifications. If you wanna see my CES videos live, make sure notifications are on. You can do this by going into the YouTube app, hitting the notification button. Um, you can also set your notifications so you receive an email when I go live. Also, you can do this on the desktop browser. So make sure you do that if you want to tune in to live CS videos. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and as always, stay.